From this time on, there could be various problems in your life. However, Christians have to win and overcome whatever problems they have. Did Abraham not have any problems? Of course, yes. He had many problems in his life. He went to Canaan as God told him, but poverty knocked at the door. So he went down to Egypt, didn't he? In Egypt, he was almost taken his wife away. Also in Genesis chapter 20, he went down to Gerar and again he lied that his wife is his sister. So he made such an error. And then when he came back to Canaan, he had an Egyptian woman named Hagar. Then Sarah gave him Hagar as his wife and concubine. And he took her and she bore a child named Ishmael. After Ishmael was born, Ishmael made trouble with Isaac who was born later and eventually Hagar and Ishmael were sent out. Although there had been many problems and difficulties in Abraham's life, he relied on God until the end. That's important. He had many problems, but his faith won and overcame those problems. You may also have a lot of problems when you are in university. Even if you have many problems, you must win and overcome them. You shouldn't just sit there because of the problems. You shouldn't just leave God because of the problems. You must win and overcome. Let's look at 1 John chapter 5, verses 4 and 5. Let's read together. For whatever is born of God overcomes the world, and this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. Who is he who overcomes the world, but he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? Whatever is born of God means saved Christians. They overcome the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. So the way to win is faith. Who is he who overcomes the world, but he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? The one who believes Jesus is the Son of God and is saved, the Bible says that person will overcome the world by faith in his life. That's why we must overcome the problems. You might have problems with your friends, or other problems at university. The difficulties you have might be about studying, your work, family, and all sorts of things. But you are saved and have faith, and the Lord who has complete wisdom and power is with you. So you must trust and rely on God, and try to share and discuss your problems with the seniors who have kept their faith. That's how you must try to solve your problems. But when some university students have a problem, they don't share it with others, not come to fellowships and leave the church. Then how can we help them? Abraham drew near to God to the end and had faith which overcame all the difficulties he had. That's why he is the father of faith, isn't he? Do not try to disappear from the church when you have problems. You must not disappear. It's not right to avoid all the contacts and calls brothers and sisters make. Even though it's hard for you to overcome the problems by yourself, you have the church, you have the Lord. Although it's hard to overcome by yourself, there are brothers and sisters around you. You must open up your difficulties with them and try to solve them in the fellowship. 